What's up, folks? It's Ray Pooperton the third with another COD Zombies video. Today I have my first Cold War video. Naturally, everything you need to know about power and pack a punch. On top of that, I will explain the Dark Ether and the new PAP and armor systems. Turning on the power on Die Machine powers up the three perks in the bunker: Deadshot Daiquiri, Speed, and Elemental Pop. It also powers on the Particle Accelerator, spawning an anomaly. The anomalies on the map allow access to the ether. On top of all that, it opens two doors into the stamina up side of Noct and the door between the power switch and spawn. The round after turning on the power will begin dog rounds, as usual coming again every five rounds or so. Power is a simple switch system on die, easy as getting to it. The best way to go, in my opinion, is through the pond area as it leaves important doors shut for some really great high round strategies and camping spots. Once you open into the bunker, go down into the particle accelerator room and all the way to the other side. There, the final door in the way to the switch. Shell out the cache and interact with the switch and the bunker power is up. The Dark Ether is an alternate reality created by entering the anomaly made by the Particle Accelerator. As rounds progress, the Dark Ether reality starts to merge with ours. This can be seen by the Ether Tunnel fast travels and Wonderfizz machine appearing 10 rounds after accessing the Ether, as well as other elements of it appearing later in the rounds. While in the Ether, you can find crystals which each contain a loot item. They can hold perks, weapons, equipments, and more, including monkeys, the knife, self-revives, and even the coveted ray gun. For all crystal locations, check out the guide on screen now. Many of the map's easter eggs are either done in or are tied to the Dark Ether realm. The anomalies are marked by a star on your map. Once an anomaly is used, you will have to kill 25 zombies to spawn another one. Each activation of an anomaly lasts about two minutes before returning you to reality. In order to move the anomaly after the initial entry, you must progress the main easter egg. This is important when doing the Wonder Weapon upgrades. The piece needed to repair and activate the Pack-a-Punch machine is also inside the Ether Realm. It is found by entering the Ether Tunnel marked by a star on screen. It can be either in the pond area or at the crash site. Once you land, the part is behind you. Grab it by interacting and head to the Pack-a-Punch machine in the Particle Accelerator room. Insert the part and you will be teleported back to reality where Pap is ready to go. Our beloved Pack-a-Punch is a bit different in Black Ops Cold War. Not only can you pack three times, but the elemental upgrade is now separate and selectable. No more re-rolling ten times for Deadwire. The first Pack-a-Punch is 5k, second is 15k, and the third one is 30k. So all in all, it's 52k to have a fully upgraded gun with an alternate ammo type, but it's well worth it. Ammo can be bought from the ammo crates around the map. You can no longer get it off the wall. Side note, right now, switching ammo types will refill your packed gun's ammo. With triple packed ammo costing 5k, this will save you 3000 essence on ammo buys. This may be a bug and get patched, I will update you in the comments if so. Cold War introduces more innovation to the mode with their new armor system as well. Head over to the platform by the med bay with speed cola. Using the salvage and brain matter you loot from zombies, crystals and easter eggs, you can upgrade your armor to a maximum of 3 armor plates. With no shield, this armor upgrade is an essential survival tool in Die Machine. Another side note, the first armor level can be obtained by finding a level 1 armor loot item as an alternative to spending salvage on it. On top of the PAP machine, there's a new damage tier upgrade system for weapons integrated into the armor contraption. This is represented by the gun's rarity ranging from common to epic, which is tier 5. Scroll over to the Weapon Rarity tab and you will see you can upgrade up to 5 tiers. Once a weapon is fully upgraded, you can add a random set of attachments for 250 salvage. But that about wraps this one up. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next Cold War video coming soon. 
Peace.